Unveiled Why French Leclerc is the Best Tank on Earth The main combat tanks of the French Army have not fired in anger since the Gulf War. The Leclerc tank was built by France. Is it, perhaps, one of the best main combat tanks in the world? Let's know more. Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks, from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced battle tanks at present. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you never miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started! How do you feel about France's latest super tank, the Leclerc? A retired colonel from the French Army's Logistical Brigade question in 2002. You know, the one we paid a lot of money for and will never use in war. So far, his assessment has proven to be correct. In Afghanistan, Congo, the Ivory Coast, Central African Republic, and Mali, the French military has used light armored vehicles and air power. However, the French Army's main battle tanks have not been used in combat since the Gulf War. However, in the summer of 2015, the UAE sent two battalions of Leclerc's into Yemen's civil war, and based on a few shaky accounts, the tank appears to have fared much better than the American-made M1 Abrams in the same combat. France, along with England, has been a forerunner of armored warfare since World War I. At the start of World War II, it had more tanks and better armed and armored ones than the Germans, but the vehicles were doomed by the French Army's inadequate doctrine and organization. France manufactured two important tank types during the Cold War, the AMX-13 and AMX-30. The AMX-13 was a portable tank. It debuted in 1953, weighing only 13 tons and sporting a 75mm gun with a long barrel. Both Israel and India used the AMX-13 in hard action against Arab and Pakistani opponents, and the general conclusion was that the AMX-13's mobility was useful, but it was too weak armored for pitched battles against heavier tanks. The French army, on the other hand, was convinced that anti-armor weaponry was becoming so efficient that stronger armor was unnecessary. It would rather stress speed and firepower. As a result, when the AMX-30 tank arrived in 1966, it only had 80 millimeters of armor compared to the 243 millimeters of armor that protected the U.S.'s contemporary M47 Patton tank. Despite its low armor, the AMX-30 possessed a strong 105 millimeter cannon and received large form orders. It was also highly adaptable to numerous support units. By the early 1980s, a new generation of Western tanks, represented by the American M1 Abrams, had appeared. These were outfitted with composite armor that was particularly resistant to the shaped charges used by current anti-tank missiles. During the 1991 Gulf War, the M1's armor proved nearly impervious to anti-tank missiles, as well as 125mm armor-piercing bullets fired by Russian-made T-72 tanks. In the same conflict, Qatar and France used AMX-30s. The Qatari tanks saw action at the Battle of Kafiji when they destroyed three T-55 tanks from the 1950s. Two AMX-30s were destroyed by Iraqis. Concerned about the AMX-30's poor armor, coalition leaders deployed the French 6th Light Armor Division as a rear guard behind the flank of the U.S. Army's 18th Airborne Corps. The French armor performed admirably in the mission, eventually destroying 10 Iraqi tanks. But the French tankers surely hoped they could have gone to war in the new tank, which was only a year away from entering surface at the time of the Leclerc's. By the 1970s, the French army had realized that its AMX-30s could not consistently beat the most recent Soviet tanks, such as the T-72. The independent-minded French did not want to simply purchase new tanks from the United States or Germany. They want a tank that was as hard-hitting as the Abrams, but lighter and adequately protected than the American version. The resulting AMX-56 Leclerc was named after the French officer who led the armored division that liberated Paris in 1944. It was the costliest tank in the world at the time, costing $9.3 million per vehicle in 2011 dollars. For instance, a new M1A2 cost $7.56 million, while the Russian T-90 cost only $4 million. The French Army has 406 Leclerc's, with 240 of them serving in one of the four operational tank regiments. There are also 20 different types of recovery vehicles in use. Many design aspects shared by the three major Western main battle tanks, the Abrams, the German Leopard II, and the British Challenger II, include 120mm guns, four-person crews, and composite armor. While its basic performance criteria are comparable, the Leclerc has many French peculiarities. 
Instead of a human loader, it has an auto loading mechanism that fires 12 shells each minute. The auto loader lowers the crew to three people, a commander, a gunner, and a driver. The Leclerc has a coaxial 50 caliber machine gun next to the main gun instead of next to the commander's hatch. Its 120mm smoothbore main gun is significantly longer than the Abrams is, allowing it to penetrate more armor in principle. It can also fire programmable air-burst high-explosive shells. However, the Leclerc's main benefits are its defensive capabilities and mobility. The comparative efficacy of current tank armor is difficult to measure, but the frontal armor of the Leclerc and the M1 appears to be equivalent, although some detractors believe that Leclerc's frontal plate has more weak places around its sensors. The Leclerc replaces the M1's Chobham composite armor with an uncommon blend of composite, conventional, and reactive armor that is somewhat more efficient against kinetic penetrators fired by rival tanks. The Leclerc side armor, on the other hand, clearly outperforms that of the M1. Newer models additionally have titanium armor inlays and explosive reactive armor bricks on the sides, which are belts of explosives that destroy incoming missiles and shells. Lastly, a Galix grenade launcher in the turret can fire a range of munitions including flashbang grenades, high explosives, multispectral screening smoke, and infrared decoys that can mislead missiles. The Leclerc also has a lower turret profile than the Abrams, making it more difficult to attack. However, some detractors contend that the smaller turret provides less room for internal modifications. The Leclerc at 60 tons is 10 tons lighter than most Western main battle tanks. There are numerous advantages, including a decent power to weight ratio, lower ground pressure, excellent acceleration, and a relatively high top speed of 45 miles an hour. The Leclerc uses far less fuel than many other tanks. It is a range of 340 miles before needing to refuel compared to 260 for the Abrams. This decreases the logistical strain on the tank. According to critics, the Leclerc's are difficult to keep. Defenders of the French vehicle argue that this is due to teething issues with early production versions. Despite not having experienced combat, French Leclerc's have served on peacekeeping missions in Kosovo and Lebanon, where they performed admirably. In one spectacular event in Lebanon in 2006, a platoon of four Leclerc's faced off against two to five Israeli Merkava tanks attempting to enter the Lebanese town of Marawin. The two sides disengage after a 20-minute standoff. In June 2016, the French presented a new update, the Leclerc XLR, with the intention of keeping Leclerc's relevant until 2040. The XLR would include modular armor kits, including one that protects against IEDs by blocking cellular signals and another that is geared for countering rocket-propelled grenades. The only other force to obtain Leclerc's was the United Arab Emirates. The UAE purchased 390 tropicalized models with V-12 engines, as well as 46 armored recovery vehicles. The UAE Leclerc's also served on the Kosovo peacekeeping mission, where the differences were evident. When compared to French tanks, the Emirati Leclerc's have greater sensors and systems. The Emirati Army purchased 13 Azure armor kits, which feature slatted bar armor designed to destroy rocket-propelled grenade warheads before they strike the hull. In Iraq, the U.S. Army launched a comparable urban combat upgrade. Azure also comes with a remotely controlled machine gun. Whereas the French Leclerc's have yet to experience combat, the Emirati tanks have seen action in Yemen, where the UAE has dispatched between 70 and 80 Leclerc's. When Yemen President Ali Abdullah Saleh was removed in 2011, the Houthi tribes felt excluded from the new government and launched a massive insurrection in 2015. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, please click the like button, share it with your friends and family, and if you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you, and we'll catch up in a following video.